Hello, my name is David Zorik. I'm an applications engineer here at Hawkridge Systems, and I'd like to demonstrate to you today a new feature you'll find in SOLIDWORKS 2015. The Shell Manager is a useful simulation tool that will help you manage the design changes or the setup of shells within any of your simulation studies. To access the tool, you can either right click on an existing shell that you've already defined, or in this case, I can right click on a body and select Shell Manager. From here, I have two different regions on my screen. The bottom region is a table which I like to use to allow me to interrogate the shells I've already defined and also to set up the different shells that haven't been defined. On the left, you'll notice we have a property manager which looks very similar to the defined shells property manager. In the bottom area, I can use this table to sort based off of its thickness, for instance, by just selecting the top heading a couple times. But also, I have the ability where I could enter in values for a particular surface body. If you notice right now, I've got this one surface body, which is a mount, that does not have a check mark by it. That means that it's not currently been defined as a shell in my simulation study. If I just input some values, for instance, I'll make that become three millimeters, I'll choose my material to be plain carbon steel. I now have a checkbox by that. And this part is now represented by a three millimeter shell. Well, if I wanted that, since it's part of the mounts group, all of these different components in the middle, I want them to behave the same. I can group this new part into that existing mounts group that's been created. So now any design changes I make to any one of those mounts will allow it to propagate through the rest of those shells I've already defined. A great little tool. So I've got two more items that I still need to work on. It's these outside rails. So before I worry about defining the information for that, I'll first create a group to put these items into. To create groups, I just select on the drop down arrow and I select manage groups. From here, if I type in a new name and select the plus key, it gives me the ability to change the properties for this particular group. I'll keep the top information the same as far as defining it as thin and using plain carbon steel. However, I will make this new group be a thickness of six millimeters. Now, when I use that and I assign this particular rail to be part of the rails group, Notice how the thickness changes to six millimeters. And all of the definition for this last body will be taken care of by just including it into the rails group. A nice way for me to quickly create my different shell bodies that have common characteristics, as well as manage any design changes. If I change that to eight millimeters, both of those will update as well. There's an ability for me to change the way that my shells are displayed on the screen. One is to make sure that I've defined my shells properly. So I can have any item that I select can show my shell definition on my screen. And by zooming in, I can make sure that my shell is defined properly, which it is in this case. I also have the ability to change the way that my part is displayed based off of, in this case, the thickness of my shells. So as it interrogates my study and finds out all the different shell sizes I have, I can turn on the legend and find out that blue represents three millimeters, aqua is four, and the green is eight. A nice way for me to be able to understand and make sure that I've properly set up all of my shells within my study. The Shell Manager is a great new tool for SOLIDWORKS 2015 that I'm sure you'll find very useful as you use shells within your simulation studies. Thanks for watching.